I believe that you're a person who sort of believes in revenge, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Hence the hounds. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, Mr. Smithers. Yes. Call me. Hi there, Mr. Flanders. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one everyone knows, right? You've heard his voice on TV for the last 20 years as part of The Simpsons. And now this wonderful gentleman is here to accept an award today, or tonight rather, at the Angelica. It's uh, Friday night, right? Friday yeah. night, yes, I'm sorry, Friday night. Yeah. Um, very welcome to you. Thank you. So nice you. to see you. So can you do voices for us? Uh, no. Okay, no. well, then, listen, so it's not like you just did a voice on The Simpsons. You, you basically made a living talking to yourself. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have. Right? By the way, that, that, those clips were so mercifully short. That show was a six-hour taping oh, with that wow. guy. We felt like we were hostages. They taped for that long for We felt like we were hostages. I mean, oh, seriously. Gosh. Did they I was give you water? I, well, I was beginning to do, you know, please release us. We were guilty of it. I mean, anything to get off that step. So you could have said, get us out of here in a different voice and then pointed at somebody else. Yes. Like, it wasn't me. Well, so, I'm not a ventriloquist. So, Harry, this must no, be really cool. No, of course I'm not a ventriloquist. This must be really cool for you, though, to be, um, to, to be uh, receiving this award for for all the work that you've done. Well, it's it's cool for one, a number of reasons. One, because it means that uh, my insecurities can be banked for uh, you know a half hour or so. But <laughs> two, uh, it's Ernie Kovacs Award. It's named for Ernie Kovacs, and I was a huge fan of Ernie, Ernie Kovacs. As a matter of fact, I was in L.A. a couple years ago when they released this massive multi-DVD set of his work, and I just because I was doing that, I, I watched a lot of it again and was reminded just how great he was. People who haven't seen him should get a DVD of Ernie Kovacs' stuff. How old were you when you discovered that you had multiple voices? Oh, I was, you know, doing voices in, in, to put myself to sleep when I was a kid, you know, like 10 or 11, you know. I didn't have multiple voices. I just had this one kid voice at the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I realized later that I was doing these shows aloud and that I was training my ear and then my voice caught up later on. Do you ever find yourself uh, popping into one of those voices? I find myself, I lose myself, I do both. All the time? Yeah. Pop, popping into one of those voices when you should, or just having a regular conversation. That is impossible. I mean, that's impossible. <laughs> no, it never happens. Oh, man. I'm in, I'm in total control. Okay, yeah. I love now, it. Now, what about this new show? It's called Nixon's The One. Yes, this is a show that I created, which is uh, going out uh, next Tuesday for the first episode, six episodes, on YouTube. So oh, it's a web series. Mm -hmm. It was a TV series in Great Britain uh, where I did it, and it's taking the craziest, goofiest, weirdest, funniest conversations from the Nixon tapes, of which there are hundreds. Are there? And yeah, this has nothing to do with Watergate, nothing to do, not a political show of any kind, okay. it's a comedy show. And we staged it as, you know, literally word for word, as if, you're, he had hidden the cameras in the White House. Okay, as well as you got to give us a little Nixon. You have oh, to. Oh, I, I don't. I, no, I can't. I can't. Oh, no. You got to see the show because I'm. I, I. I can't. You really, have to like be in character. I have to be, be in character. Is any uh, Secret Service in the room? <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, just one line. But uh, no, it, 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 I'm the kind of actor that really has to like look in a mirror and be able to fool myself before I can start <laughs> doing it. You know, but uh, right, the character. This is Nixon uh, doing his resignation yeah, speech, but that, uh, so that's me like, as Nixon. Oh, so but yeah. um, the makeup is amazing. Yeah, yeah. by the way, it's this wow. wonderful guy uh, in England named uh, Aaron Sherman who does the makeup. But there's this, one of the scenes is this six minutes before Nixon resigns the oh, presidency, wow. delivers the resignation oh. speech. The goofiest six minutes you've ever seen on television. And, really. this, and you wrote this? No. You didn't write it's this It's all part? real. It's, it's all, all real. real. It's all absolutely verbatim from the tapes that he made in oh, the White wow. House. I just saw a documentary not too long ago that had a lot of the um, recordings. Yes. And, and you're right. Some of the things that were said, you're like, what, what did he just say? But, yes. Yeah. But that documentary was, you know, was... New stuff comes out all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, my partner was uh, the leading historian on the tape, Stanley Cutler, the guy who actually filed the lawsuit to make the tapes public in the first oh, place. Wow. He said, he's the guy who thought, wait a minute, it was our tape machines, it was our tape, it was our Navy guys changing the reels, we own this stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why we have it. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's five and a half years of everything Nixon said wow. in that office. So it's probably a good thing social media wasn't around for him. Oh my God. He probably would have fed them so much content. Well, yeah, and the thing is, the reason we have this stuff is because Johnson tape, and, and Kennedy taped, but they re they hit the record button. Nixon mm -hmm. was such a clutch, they didn't trust him to hit the record button. <laughs> no. So the minute anybody started talking, the tapes rolled. They wow. just recorded the, all the Everything. Because wow, he thought, it. nobody's going to hear these. I'm going to be sitting at home in, in my post-presidential leisure, and I'll go through them and pick out the signs of greatness for my memoirs. 
the joke was on him. Oh, boy. Tell well, us about your time with The Simpsons. Oh, uh, my 26 years? Yeah, just that, <laughs> yeah. just that little bit. <laughs> Tell us that little story. What would you like to know? Well, how many voices are, did you have on that show? I, uh, you, you're putting it in past tense, like it's over. <laughs> still going. Yeah. Still how going. How many voices do you Thank have you. on that show? Uh, uh, at least 21 and counting. She's really? hoping you'll get more. That's what she's saying. I she see. wants to hear yeah. your voice more. Would Thanks, you like Lisa. to be my agent? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> and so For besides, many reasons. Besides The Simpsons, what else are you up to these days? Well, the Nix is the one thing is, is just coming out. Uh, I just finished a play in England, which may come over here. I'm hoping it does. Uh, uh, not a comedy at all. And then I'm trying to get a, a film made of a script I uh, co-wrote, a musical comedy about another character, a great uh, comic character from the 20th century, J. Edgar Hoover, the wow, life star. Wow, yeah. look at you. Uh, amazing life Do you star. have a preference, the voiceover work versus like being in front of the camera? No, they're both fun. Mm. Um, I mean, you know, I do a lot of different things, and uh, I always used to say, well, I like them all, that's why I do them all, but uh, if I had to choose one, it's playing music. Oh, it's, really? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a bass player with a, a couple of bands. Uh, do you play in any bands in New Orleans? Like, if we come, if we if we head down to where you live, are we going <laughs> to walk into one of the bars? When the Saints go um, marching in? Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> there's a local uh, band that's of long vintage called the Radiators that have let me sit in a couple times, okay. and Marshall Ball, who's from sort of the border country between Louisiana and Texas, I think, lives in Austin, but she's let me uh, sit in with her a couple of times Very at her cool. New Orleans gigs as well, yeah. Love it. It's I love that creative person. Mm -hmm. person that just, you've always got a lot of interesting things going on. Yeah. Well, and to. congratulations you on your award. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes, wonderful. Yes, congratulations, um, and welcome to Dallas. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stay away from and the Ebola. <laughs> I will, and happy birthday. <laughs> and thank you very and much. And you don't look a day. <laughs> Older than. No, you don't look a day. <laughs> Oh, I'm a day, all right. It's not my Mr. first video. <laughs> Mr. Harry Shearer will be accepting the Ernie Kovacs Award on Friday at 7 p.m. at the Angelica Film Center on Mockingbird, followed by a special screening of This is Spinal Tap. It's been 30 years. Yeah. I can't believe wow. that. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Okay, for details, just head to thebroadcasttv.com. Click on today's links, and we are back in a moment. When we're back, we're meeting up with another very funny man, comedian Peter Vogel, uh, whose one-man show's title will already have you laughing. We're going to tell you all about it up next. Ask you the body bones. Yes. We will. <laughs>